Hey guys, um, I got back here and, uh, been chilling here in my room and, uh, took a little nap when I got here. And, uh, look what happened here when I left. Look what got put in my room when I left my room. Mm hmm. Yeah, the, the router gets put in my room and I'm like, I move out and the router moves in. Hmm. Uh, but, um, so I just want to say we're going to be cooking up some steaks tonight. Um, that's what we're doing tonight, cooking up some steaks. It's going to be delicious. And I'm going to be doing some cooking. And, uh, trying to remember the name of, um, of the the grill we're using um oh I'm sorry what is it <sighs> trying to wake up <sighs> but uh George Foreman yeah George Foreman grill sorry huh But, um, yeah, we'll be working on the George Foreman Grill tonight. We'll be cooking a delicious steak tonight, and uh, it's going to be good. And uh, so I have my own George Foreman Grill. And uh, to show you that I'm not lying, let me show you what I'm talking about, that I have, actually have one now. Here it is, folks. There it is, my own George Foreman grill right there. So I can grill at home anytime I want. You know, one thing about this is there's no shut off button. So when I put something on it, when I plug it in, it cooks automatically. And it's got, I got the clippers and uh, I got a timer. So when I put it in there, and I can probe it also to see its temperature, to see if it's been naughty and it's, it hasn't been feeling, if it's the right temperature. <laughs> eek, eek, eek. <laughs> That's, this is fire right here. Ha. Oh yeah, it's there. Hey folks, so I'm back here again and that was a reference to Pulp Fiction if you didn't know. You know, my editor's got a little glow in there, but, uh, yeah, <laughs> but, uh, let's pull this sucker out. This is a George Foreman grill. I'll be careful, Tom. Oh, I got him. Okay. 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 Joey's foaming. Keep on hit. Keep on getting hit. Just keep on going. I don't know if that's one of his quotes or not. You know, my mom got me another one because she had me another one. But the thing was, is there was uh, there wasn't removable grates on there. Mmm, you smell that, folks? It's the smell of new grill. Don't you just it just comes off? You just smell that fresh smell of the new grill. Hardly been used. Brand. <laughs> Making, ooh, never, never been used. Never been looked at. That. Signed by George Foreman himself. <laughs> just keep on getting, keep, you just keep on getting hit, and just keep on going. <laughs> 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 you just keep on going, and you just pop. I don't know how this thing works. You just you pop it up there, and. uh there it is. That's how it is. That's how it works. You got all the grates here, and uh, okay. this is where the grates are removable. Okay, so you just pop this up here, and the grates are removable. But we're not going to remove it. What we're going to do is, like that. but yeah, you just you put your meats down here, 
and then you plop it down, you let it cook. The thing with this with this George Foreman grill is there's no shut off button. So as soon as we plug the sucker in, fire. Mm -hmm. When when the green light turns turns on, that means it's ready to put go. your steak on. Yep. When the green light means go, boom. You just whew, you know what I'm saying? So uh so we're gonna clean it up and then gonna, we're gonna cook it a little bit. We're gonna clean we're gonna clean it up. And we're cooking a little bit, okay? <laughs> That's what I said. <laughs> Don't worry, my editor can take care of that stuff. He can cut it up for me. Uh, <laughs> and I just keep on going. Oh, yeah, mashed potatoes. That looks good. Yes. Steamy. Steamy weemy. It's steamy. <laughs> and we got that's some, George Foreman. That's George Foreman for you taking a hit every single time. He keeps. Ooh, look at that broccoli. We're going to get the nice and between crunchy and chewy at the same time. That good texture. Mashed potatoes. We got red and white potatoes in there. Red and white potatoes in there. Red and white. White potatoes. And we got our George Foreman grill over here. Oh, we'll show you our meat. No, not that meat, folks. <laughs> Boom, that's fire right there, folks. Look at that. Look at that. Delicious, fat, thick piece of meat. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> uh, sorry. Mm, but look at that. It's like, it kind of looks like Jurassic Park, the planet of Jurassic Park, doesn't it? <laughs> but uh, here's our grills right here. Both of them. And here's our salads right here. Twins. Twins. Oh my gosh, twins. No, thank you. I'm fine. <laughs> Got our chickens up there. And uh, we're getting ready to have, we're going to make this meal epic. Epic meal time, you know what I'm saying? Like 100 pounds of bacon, you know what I'm saying? We're going to wrap these steaks up in 100 pounds of bacon. We no. Ready, ready. We got our salads ready over there. Right there, right in that section. So, yeah, we're going to get ready for tonight and uh, it's going to be epic. Catch you later, folks. Hey folks, so we're gonna get ready to put our meat on the grill. We got look at this big thick piece of meat right there. Mm-hmm. Big thick. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab this right here and we're gonna pop this open. Ooh, just make sure you don't catch your hand on that. You stick this underneath here, you grab your meat fully, and then you lay your meat down on the grill. Make sure it's laying firmly on the grill. Grab it, stretch it across there, and then you just lay her down there. And you push down on there. And you hear that? It's cooking instantly. So let's grab this piece of meat right here. We'll, uh, we'll grab this piece of meat right here. Bring the whole tray over. We'll bring this whole tray over, and we're gonna we're gonna put this right here. And this is a fatter, this is, this is a uh, thicker piece of meat. Mm -hmm. Dang it. One. So we're just going to lay that out there. And then we're going to take our, we're going to lay that down there. You should going to get done at the same time? Since they've been mm -hmm. Yeah, it should. They okay. should. So we're going to set our timer. We're going to set our timer for how long? Uh, 
we're going to set it for about five minutes. Okay. And we're going to check it with a... Uh, right there? Yep, with the instant. We got our timer right there? With an instant read thermometer. With an instant read thermometer. And that doesn't mean anal. <laughs> yeah. You are grown up. You don't need that. <laughs> so catch you later, folks. <laughs> Hey folks, so now our, our steak is done, and now we're going to take it off and let it rest. Hush! Rest. So we're going to take a nap. Time to take a nap before you go in my belly. Ooh. Now we're going to take off this steak. This is my mom's steak, my dad's steak. We're going to lay this right here. Whoop. Right there. So folks, you just keep on getting hit. Oops. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, this is this is as good as a match as the Money Mayweather fight and uh what's his name? What's the other guy's name? Money Mayweather and uh I'm trying to remember what their names were. Do you remember his name? The other boxer the other boxer? Uh, he's not even that cool to remember. He was a uh, MMA fighter. MMA fighter, yeah, MMA fighter. So uh MMA. how could could I get to can I actually do any kicking? <laughs> it was like no, no, you can't, you can't do any kicking. Oh, did I would really, really lose? <laughs> Catch you later, folks. Mm -hmm. Ta-da! Look at that. Look at that beautiful meal right there. Oh, delicious. Right there. Normally I don't film my meals in my vlogs, but I made that steak, so... I cooked that steak, so I decided to do the vlog like this. Here's all our, uh, all the settings right here, and uh, so I'm getting ready to eat, and uh, I'll tell you how how it tastes, folks. So I'll catch you later, later, folks. Bye. Hey, folks, it's me, Tommy, back here again. So I hope you enjoyed that whole entire meal. I normally don't vlog my meals. I'm not that show offy. I only tweet before I eat. Hashtag tweet before you eat. Before you eat a meal, tweet it if you think it's worth it. Um, if you look at some of my past meals, you know, eh. But you know, I believe in everything deserves to be tweeted. So yeah, that was that. Del that was a delicious sirloin steak. Wow, delicious, top quality. I have some. I'm gonna take some home for me when I go home tomorrow, and uh, hopefully, we won't have any surprises tomorrow. No balloons. You know, it's kind of weird. These are the two can suspects, Holden and Ashley, and maybe Hamza. I don't know. Hamza said that he was busy doing other things. Ashley said she was at work. Holden said he was in Hendersonville. Well, hmm, somebody made a visit to my house, a random visit, and dropped off some balloons. Hmm. But I made a little something something. And when we get back to my house tomorrow, I'll show you what that is in case that person came back. To show them I ain't afraid of them. And they better stop leaving balloons at my house. You know what? And you don't put it on a balloon. We'll see you soon. The only reason I put you float too on a balloon is because Pennywise says that. I'm, that only creepers put, you know, we'll see you soon. That's a creeper. I'm sorry if I ever heard of one. But, uh, my mom is making some pudding. Gonna indulge in some pudding. And I got me a Coca Cola. Mwah! Mm. Oh, by the way, uh, this, I don't know when this vlog is going to go up. I don't know if I should say things when. But check out the Foul Mouth Network. Check out Joe Cronin. Check out Anthrit on YouTube. And uh, I hope everybody stays positive and has a great day. And if you notice, I'm in a different setting. I'm at my parents' house where I first started vlogging. You know, up there. My room is right up there. <laughs> There's my mom. <laughs> She's pretty. She, <laughs> she says she's getting older, but I don't think so. I think she's mm -hmm. she stays younger. Younger, younger. 
my dad. Uh, I don't know what this. Well, I thought he was there. <laughs> Epic fail. He wasn't there in his seat. But uh, yeah, folks. So, folks, I will. Uh, I'll catch you a bit later. And as always, I'm Tommy in C2010. I'm keeping you on the inside. In fact, subscribe, support, stay positive. Hey guys, tonight is the No Mercy pay per view. Braun Strowman. Braun Strowman versus broccoli lesbian and uh, we'll see how that goes I'm hoping that uh, Braun Strowman buries Brock Lesnar I'm hoping it I'm gonna get me a refreshing beverage and uh, maybe get a little I had my dinner already mashed potatoes and steak mmm leftovers yummy so I'm gonna head in here and uh, I'm gonna show you what I like by the way if anybody ever wants to Get a gift or something like that. You know? So we're gonna walk in here, I'll show you what exactly I'm getting from my drink tonight. So we'll walk in here and hey, let's we'll see what this guy thinks. Hey, do you think uh Braun Strowman's gonna beat Broccoli Lesbian? Really, <laughs> he agrees with me, even though he doesn't say a word. You know, he thinks that uh, that Braun Strowman's gonna do it tonight. He says WWE is fake. That's what he says. But uh, catch you later, folks. Oh, look what I got, folks! I got me. Mwah! I got what I wanted. This is fire right here. You see that? This is delicious stuff for any kind of party or just average drinking. I did a review on it. And some kosher dill pickles. So I'm going to go purchase this and uh, grab me some dessert. Yeah. And uh, we're going to have a good time tonight. And I'll do little reviews. And tonight we'll be doing the uh, No Mercy review. And, uh, you know, and there's our boy Jason over there. Hey Jason, but yeah, tonight's gonna be a good night. Catch you later, folks. So, folks, I just got the snacks and everything for tonight. Um, some snacks for tonight, just to watch the pay-per-view, and um, hopefully things go well. Me and Hans are gonna do the uh, uh, No Mercy review, and uh, you know what started this was um, I was suspended off the Joe Cronin show. <laughs> Uh, cause Joe put on the wheel, uh, Tommy is suspended for a whole month, you know, he can come back in October, but he's suspended through all of September, so, you know, I had nowhere to give my outlet for my opinion about, you know, that's what I do, that's my tradition, I watch Raw and I go on the Joe Cronin show, well, when this happened, I thought I was just suspended off monetize this, no, I'm suspended all the way off of the, off of the Joe Cronin show, and so I'm like, okay, I'm like, I don't know what to do. We had a few things up our sleeve what we were going to do, but Hansa came up with the idea that we do a review. And I'll talk to Joe, and he's cool with it. But, uh, you know, as long as me and Hans are both healthy, we'll do the review. But if Hans is not feeling good and I'm not feeling good, we won't do the review. But tonight we're going to do a review of No Mercy and see where that goes. Catch you later, folks. Hey, first, our, our first guest tonight is Mitch. It's here to watch the pay-per-view. We're gonna give our, you know, we're gonna be watching the event tonight. It's gonna to be, it's going to be electrifying. We're gonna be blowing off the top of the roof here, watching no, uh, no mercy, no mercy, Braun Strowman versus Rocky Lesbian. So, folks, we'll be seeing that soon. Catch you later. So, Hobbs is here also, and Ashley and Holden are gonna come. No. Why did she get a choice? I'm gonna i I'm gonna have my editor censor that word out. It's like you're swearing. How are you gonna have him censor out and you got a thing in your mouth? Is that a is that a leg from a really big cricket? It's a baseball bat. It looks like a leg from a really big cricket. You gotta understand crumpet to understand cricket. So we're we're waiting for Ashley and Holden to come over. And uh I think that they did this. 
this balloon prank. But, uh, yeah, we're just here chilling, and I'll get my live opinions here on the vlog as we go along. Is that really live? Well, pre-recorded opinions, and then we'll be going live on the on the channel for the No Mercy pay-per-view. Do you want to do any predictions, like, about this match? Um, I think uh, it's it's hard to say since uh, it seems since it's a since it's a heel night. You sound like you sound like a baby. It's like a pacifier, man. It's not a pacifier. People chew on stuff, Hansa. Yeah, well, now they're doing a vlog. But uh, just to let you know, folks. Uh, I think uh, I think what's gonna happen is. Uh, I'm gonna my pants. Yeah. <laughs> Hamza poops his pants all the time. He can't ever make it to the bathroom. He has no bowel control at all. He poops his pants all the time. <laughs> and he goes, man, I poop my pants. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about, Hamza. But uh, so, folks, I'll catch you a bit later. Hey folks, well, Ashley and Holden are here now, and we're going to be getting ready for tonight, an awesome night of electrifying entertainment. We got the, uh, we, what is it, who's, um, Dad. no, <laughs> no, uh, damn it, I'm trying to get, sorry, pardon my language, folks, uh, Bray Wyatt, and we got, Finn Balor. Finn Balor fighting up against each other tonight, so I'll be giving you my opinions after the match is over. Hey folks, just want to let you know, Finn Balor just delivered, my gosh, beautifulness. It's going to be a face night, hopefully a beautiful face night. He destroyed Bray Wyatt. Yes, 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 yes. So we're going to see what the rest of what's going to happen tonight. Oh, yeah. There is no bet tonight. No bets. No bets. All the bets are doing is geared and making me look like looking me making me look stupid. No bets. No bets. No. I got a question for you. Yes. What if your man wins? Then I lose, and I have to do whatever. Oh, it's just. Okay. We're not shaking on anything. It's an open something. It's we have payback. Huh? What it, like she said, if you women, she'll have to do whatever you say. That's payback. So what's the pay? What do you want me to do with your boss? I don't know. It's hard to say. How about no suits for the rest of your life? No! No what? Ah, no what? Shut up! <laughs> no what? Shh, nothing! He owns no suits for the rest of his life. He had died tomorrow. Yeah, he wouldn't make it through the first day. He'd be hitting up the Halloween store buying every suit he could. Halloween store? Do you yeah, I, I buy my stuff at Belts. The They've got a jack o' lantern suit <laughs> What? There's a jack o' lantern suit there? Huh. Well, I have to go check that out at some point. But we're, right now we're watching the, uh, the Jar of Mayonnaise versus uh, Dean Ambrose and Seth Rollins right now. The old version of the Shield. <laughs> so, I'll let you know what happens when uh, this is over. And still, you brought a tag team chain, Seth Rollins and Dean Ambrose. What a rush! What a rush! Oh, yeah! That's right! That's the magic! That's the beauty of it! What do you think, Ashley? Was that a good match or what? Decent. Hmm. Decent amount of blood. He went period mode, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Cesaro's face. <laughs> oh. 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 He shattered his teeth? Oh, my God. Oh. Mm. Oh. Mm. Oh, God. Cesaro's face went period mode after he got his teeth knocked out. Catch you later, folks. Uh, Ooh, Alexa Bliss just won. Look at that guy. He's like, dang. Jackson, 
John Cena versus Roman Reigns tonight. We'll see how this match goes. Folks, more balloons. More freaking balloons, folks. Look at this. More freaking balloons. It says, it's not real. Now you know how I thought at WrestleMania when I had to, when I couldn't watch Triple H fight Sting. See this? Whoever it is, stop it! You okay? It's ticking me. Folks, Roman Reigns just beat John Cena. I guess he's just the big dog now. Cena, go out with the old laundry and with the new. Sorry, Ash. Big dog is very upset. She beat the heck out of him. Out of holding over here. My gosh. Yeah, I'm like Stop it. Stop it. Leave it. Stop it. Leave it. My gosh. Stop leaving balloons at my house. But yeah, that was our reaction right there. My gosh. It's explosive tonight. Stop leaving balloons. At my house. <laughs> Ashley's pissed tonight. But yeah, folks, we just witnessed that match. Hanzo, how about that? What did you think of that match, dude? Uh, I wish those two so called wrestlers would learn more moves. What do you think, Mitch? I thought it was awesome, man. Roman Reigns is the man. <laughs> what? Ashley's upset. So, folks, the next match, Ron Strowman versus Brock Lesnar. We'll see what happens. This worst pay-per-view ever. Ridiculous. Brock Lesnar is an idiot. Ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Hey folks, I just called the cops, I talked to them, and they're going to have somebody call me, but I'm going to get this taken care of, and I'll, somehow, I'll figure out who's doing this, and, you know, I'm not going to be harassed like this at my house. So, yeah, whoever's doing it, I'm going, I'm being, this is not, I'm not joking, I'm doing, taking this seriously, and if you're trying to harass me, you're going to get arrested for harassment, okay? Okay? You understand me? Yeah. So, just to let you know that. Thank you. Hey, folks. We just ended off our live broadcast, the uh, the No Mercy review, and we did. It was really good. We appreciate the callers, everybody. Oh, here, if you're gonna film, let me turn that off for a second. Um, we appreciate everybody that called in tonight. All the positive callers. Thank you so much. Yeah, and next month, if you're in North Carolina, go to the haunted farm. Yep, go to the Haunted Farm, folks. You can actually bob for apples there, I think. <laughs> I don't know, I've never been there. No, we're going to get Hams to go. We're going to have him, we're going to drag him along. And uh, he's going to come with us to the Haunted Farm. We're going to go to the Golden Corral. We're going to blow up the buffet. Wow, for real? Yeah, we'll go to the Golden Corral. That's, that's our tradition. We go to Golden Corral, and then we go to the Haunted nice. Farm. Nice, I like that. I like the Golden Corral, man. Oh, yeah. Good buffet. Jeff Fox, Jeff Fox, we're here with the Golden Corral chocolate buffet. Ooh. Yes. By the way, Hans, I, I, have, I have a message for you. You know what that is? Um. <laughs> Shout out to Long Life. Oh, I could have guessed. I could have guessed. <laughs> but I know you said earlier when you were on the uh, on the live YouTube stream with Deb A, you were like, oh, no, I can't fart on command because I have to poop right now. <laughs> and then you didn't poop, so I guess that sound wasn't a fart, was it? <laughs> it was a fart. You were actually shitting your pants. <laughs> Whoa, that's going to get censored. <laughs> so, folks, uh, <coughs> oh, God. I'm holding my breath. <laughs> so, folks, hopefully Hamza doesn't die from that. So, as always, I'm Tommy NC2010. This is Hamza Vlogs, keeping you on the inside. Fact. Scoop. Fact. Catch you later. Hey folks, I just called the cops, I talked to them, and they're going to have somebody call me, but I'm going to get this taken care of, and I'll, somehow, I'll figure out who's doing this, and, you know, I'm not going to be harassed like this at my house. So, yeah, whoever's doing it, I'm going, I'm being, this is not, I'm not joking, I'm do, taking this seriously, and if you're trying to harass me, you're going to get arrested for harassment, okay? Okay? You understand me? Yeah. So, just to let you know that.
Thank you.